Hey everybody, how's everything going out there? Today's video is going to be pretty much just a little bit of a talking head kind of deal. Um, just wanted to bring a couple, this really a couple things to it, uh, everyone's attention that I I, uh, I really had never considered until times got so weird. Um, I don't like most of you out there. Um, finding things to do has been really tough, and I've really been spending a lot of time you know with my switch my wife has been spending a lot of time with her switch too but it's hard to get over all the different things that are available for the switch and to kind of figure out where you need to spend your money if you need to get all these little weird accessories or if you really just you know want to you know have a massive game collection that nintendo taxes it's pretty hard to swallow sometimes they never really seemed to get that great of sales or anything like that. So I wanted to figure out a way to, you know, not rely on just having a ton of little accessories and, you know, paying $60 or $50 per game uh, every time we finished one. Uh, because there, we are a household that has two Switches. Uh, I have had one for a few years and my wife really wanted a light, so I got her one for her birthday. Uh, a while back and we we really love our switches and uh, we think that they've been really just a blessing during these very strange quarantine times so what i want to show you is basically how we get the best and most out of our switches and really it involved going back to the 90s and in essence back to when i was a kid and most fun you could have was going to the rental store that's right we rent all of our switch games and we save a ton of money uh, just renting our switch games we're able to play everything we want to play uh, in a reasonable time uh, we don't pay the nintendo tax on any and every game and we don't have a huge pile of boxes laying around because we do have a rather small house and you know, it's just not a good idea to have that much stuff around all the time. But I took a risk and signed up for Gamefly, and we have the the two games at one time plan, which is like twenty bucks a month. So it is still twenty bucks a month, but we play probably two games a piece per month. So I think it's a pretty good deal because we we would never be able to trade in these games and and get anything back for them, but. They've really, somehow, Gamefly has hung on all these years, and I never thought I would be saying it here in, in the year 2020, but right now is the best time to rent. Um, you, like I said, you can play anything you want to play, whenever you want to play it. it. They just make it really easy, and I just, I took the risk and spent my money, and I just wanted to, to put it out there that I think it's a really good program if you don't want to pay the Nintendo tax and you don't want to just have a huge game collection on hand that you essentially just look at after you play it one time. Like, I would have never bought Xenoblade or uh, My Little Town Hero. I would have never bought those games, but we wanted to try them out. And this was the, the perfect setup for that. We could each play a game that we wanted to play and if the other wants to play the game that you're playing you can just keep it as long as you want and if you find something that you think is going to have a really high replay value you can just hang on to it and um uh, just tell gamefly you want to keep it and they'll charge you for it and you keep it but i haven't kept anything yet i've sent everything back and i've been able to try some of the games that i really wanted to play that i was just hesitant to spend the $50 on like uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 and um, and Xenoblade um, Luigi's Mansion I wouldn't have been disappointed if I would have bought that Xenoblade I got bored of it so I sent it back so I, I really I want to pose the question to everyone during these times what do you value for video games like would a rental service like this be something that you guys are interested in? Um, do you see it as a viable option to 
keep playing keep play whatever you want or do you prefer to go buy games so let me know in the comments uh, if, if you could give me a like and subscribe and uh hope you enjoyed this little talking head non-advertisement and uh, i hope you guys get something out of it bye Thank you.